This is an active safety system because it's intended to prevent an accident occurring at all. However, just like Procon 10, it works simply because of the way in which things are connected together. In this case, components of the steering geometry. Under normal driving conditions, self-stabilizing steering behaves and feels just like any other. But should one front wheel encounter an increased rolling resistance, like having its tire burst or running onto soft ground, the advantages of the system become immediately apparent. Let's see why. With a normal steering layout, the wheel with the increased resistance is forced to turn outwards around the inboard pivot point. Combine this with the tendency of the whole vehicle to pivot in the same direction around the same wheel, and you have a recipe for an immediate and uncontrollable spin. But by a trick of geometry, that is setting the kingpins at an angle, the effective pivot point for the front wheels with self-stabilizing steering lies outside the wheels. So in this case, the wheel is forced to turn in the opposite direction to the impending spin of the vehicle. The result is the same as steering into a skid. The steer counteracts the spin and the car remains stable. But the best part of all is that it happens automatically, requiring no thought or action from the driver. The use of self-stabilizing steering allows Audi to incorporate another safety system, diagonally split dual circuit brakes. Of course it makes sense to have two separate braking circuits so that if one should fail, the other is powerful enough to stop the car. But splitting the circuit side to side or front to rear is less than ideally stable in such circumstances. And so Audi divide their braking systems diagonally, front left with rear right and front right with rear left. This arrangement does give total control and stability should either one of the circuits fail, but only in conjunction with the self-stabilizing steering system. In fact, it's possible to brake on one circuit even in the middle of a bend. So, two simple and very effective systems working in conjunction and giving all Audis remarkable stability in a range of emergency situations. It seems pretty obvious that the more powerful the brakes, the safer the car, up to a point. Because Audi's engineers knew that when wheels lock up under very hard braking, there are two undesirable consequences. Firstly, and perhaps surprisingly, a locked and skidding wheel does not stop the vehicle as efficiently as one which still has grip on the road. Secondly, and more obviously, skidding front wheels rob the driver of directional control. The Anti-Lock Braking System, or ABS for short, is designed to overcome these problems. It senses the rotational speed of each wheel in relation to the road speed. Should any wheel be tending to lock up under hard braking, the system reduces the pressure in the brake line to that wheel, allowing it to keep rotating, maintain its grip, and provide maximum braking force. Because the system will not allow wheels to lock, the front wheels will maintain grip under much harder braking forces, so that directional control is much less likely to be lost when braking on a bend. The system also makes the driver aware when it's operating by pulsing the brake pedal and emitting an audible tone. This gives the driver the opportunity to adjust his driving to suit the road conditions. ABS is a standard fit on all new Quattro models and is available as an option on all other Audis. All non-Quattro Audis feature front-wheel drive, which although more mechanically complex than rear-wheel drive, has significant safety benefits. For a start, the weight of the engine is directly over the driven wheels, giving improved traction and straight-line stability. During cornering, in addition to the improved traction, front-wheel drive has inherently safer handling characteristics, that is, a tendency to understeer. The natural reaction of a driver faced with understeer is to ease off the throttle, which results in the vehicle tending towards the controllable characteristics of neutral steering. Another bonus of front-wheel drive is the absence from the interior of the hump for the drive shaft, giving a small but significant increase in space and comfort. The best drive layout is when all four wheels are transmitting the power a concept pioneered for road-going cars by Audi with their celebrated Quattro system. 
Four-wheel drive gives maximum traction for improved handling, acceleration and straight-line stability. The cornering characteristics tend to be neutral whilst distribution of the driving force to all four wheels means that each has more grip in reserve to handle lateral forces. The Quattro layout gives remarkable traction on snow, ice and other very slippery surfaces. Tire wear is also reduced since the wheels slip less frequently when all four are driven. The powertrain consists of three differentials, a central propeller shaft and drive shafts to each wheel. Power is transmitted via the gearbox and centre differential directly to the front axle differential and by the prop shaft to the rear axle differential. The differentials compensate for the small differences in speed between the two axles and between each wheel on a given axle. On current quattros, the centre differential is torque sensing, or torsen for short. If a partial loss of traction occurs on one wheel, the torsen differential will supply the greater amount of driving force to the axle with the better adhesion, up to a maximum ratio of 78 to 22 percent, biased to either axle. However, should one wheel lose traction completely and begin to spin, the torsen differential will lock up. This prevents the power being transmitted solely to the wheel with the least resistance, which is what happens with a normal differential, and all driving force being lost.